of you have sat on the couch and eaten a whole bag of chips without realizing it? I realized it. But have you done that? Come on, put your hands up. Really? Be honest here. You know, and then you go, I can't believe I ate the whole thing. Well, here to show us how to be more aware of our hunger cues, please welcome dietitian Abby Sharp. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Absolutely. Thank you. You know, you're not, you're not really worried about what we're eating as much as how much we're eating. How we're eating. How we're eating. How we're eating. Yeah. Because, like you said, we tend to eat mindlessly. We do. Polish off the whole bag of chips in one go. Yes. But, you know, there is something we can do about it and requires no dieting. Right. Which is what we love. So portion uh, control and that sort of absolutely. thing. Absolutely. So that's what we're going to talk, talk a little bit today. Okay. I want to talk about this before we get started. Mm -hmm. You inherited your grandmother's dishes. I did. And what did you notice about that? They were so much smaller than what I'm used to using at home. Yeah. Because the plates are like have, charger plates absolutely. now. So we're going to talk about that in just a moment. Yes. But what do you have right here, Abby? Well, we're going to get started oh, over here. Yeah. So the key to mindful eating is really listening to your body yeah. for it's time to eat and when it's time to stop. Right, right, right. And, you know, to do that, I like to think about my body kind of like a car. Okay? Like so a what? A car. Okay. So I'm a Ferrari, let's say. All right, you're a Ferrari. I'm a Ferrari. She's a Ferrari. All right. And uh, if I'm a car, my body's, my hunger is like my gas tank. Mm -hmm. And my mom always said, you don't want to wait till you're running on fumes before you fill up your gas tank. That's right. Because you got to go to that really seedy gas station or a really expensive one, and you limit your choices. Yes, you do. But we do this all the time with our hunger, right? We wait till we're super starving. Yeah. And then we binge on everything we see to the point we're so full, we need to unbuckle our belts. Mm -hmm. Not good. Mm -hmm. So instead... I want you to start eating right around levels three or four. Okay, can we go through these levels? Sure. I mean, we don't really, really need to physically, when you're too hungry, you're, you're Headache, famished. nausea, irritable. Don't want it. Hangry. Right? Hangry. Hangry. When uh, you're, then, and then shaky and loss of focus. Right, right. Too much. So instead, I want you to start eating around levels three or four. So just when you feel like, you know, I could go for a little something, something. That's yeah. what you're going for. Okay, good to know. And then I want you to stop eating right around level seven or eight. So just when you feel, okay, I'm satisfied. But I'm not stuffed. Okay. I got you. Let me read these things. Okay. So when you're shaking and losing focus, that's that's not. We good. don't want that. You want stomach growling and a little hungry. hungry Just pain, a little bit. Thinking of thinking food. Thinking about food. Some, yep. Yep. So when you stay between level like that, a quarter, three quarters away full, you really give yourself some wiggle room. So yep. that way you can make healthier, more mindful yep. choices rather than those crazy frantic. So ones. let me ask you this: mm -hmm. in this neutral zone, yes. which I'd like to be in, that's what we want to over be in. to satisfy. You can sense food is in your stomach. Yes. And you've got, to, you've got to feel that. And Definitely. I think we eat so quickly yes. that we don't sense that at well, all. Well, exactly. So yeah. in order to find that middle ground, yes. you really got to pay attention. Okay. And to do that, you don't want to be distracted. So my next tip mm -hmm. is to adjust your environment so that you can give eating your undivided attention. Okay, good. Okay, so yeah. when it's time to eat, I want you to sit down, mm -hmm. get rid of the distractions, power down, turn the TV off, internet away, and portion your food into a bowl or on a plate. So that means no eating out of the box or in the bag or off your kids' plates, right? Or over the sink. Or over the sink. So uh, because when food goes straight from, like, the bag to your mouth or when you're distracted yes, by okay. technology and work, your mind doesn't really acknowledge you're eating anything at all. So you just so eat So there meat. you are with these chips and yeah. say, there's chips. There's chips. I'm going to watch the game. That's right. And that's, that's it. this is all I'm going to have. That's it. And once that's gone. That's gone. See you later. That's it. Let's talk about what you got here. They're very healthy snacks here. But not a lot of cheese. Great. It's cheese just portion control. Are small. Just portion control. That's all you got to worry about. And this is what? Cereal? Cereal and a little bit of almonds. Is cereal, this, is this what? That would be a, a, like, a, you know, if you were having that as a, as a snack or as a portion, that's all you got to stick to. Just make yeah. sure it goes in a box, uh, uh, sorry, in a bowl or a plate and you're right. good to go. Okay. What do you have here? Okay. So even when we do sit, like actually sit down, right. a lot of us shovel the food in so quickly we can't really acknowledge those satiety signals, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So in a really great tip is to use chopsticks. Which I can't use. Instead of a fork. So oh, okay. I will be shaky, shaky. with lots of focus. That's okay. That's okay. okay. But just like, oops, yeah. So you just, want you want. I want to you to grab the chopsticks. I I'm going with the fork them. here. Now, it's okay if you're not good. Do you see how much more rice we can get on the fork than on the chopsticks, right? Yeah. That's really going to slow you down. Hey! There, I got some more. Bad. Yeah, but Takes you, you got to slow down. Right. It's really going to slow yeah. you down. Right. Okay, gotcha. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Now let's move on to portions because this is where a lot of people get it's tripped where the up. Plates come the in. plates right. come in. Okay. Yeah. So have you heard the adage, you eat with your eyes? Yeah. Right. Well, one of the biggest mindless eating traps that I see people fall into is determining how much to eat based on how much you see fitting on your mm -hmm, plate mm -hmm. rather than listening to your actual body's needs, right? Right. right. And that's the goal. We want to listen to our body, but it takes a little bit of practice. Mm -hmm. So while we're honing our mindfulness skills, 
we can use some of those nasty little traps to our advantage, and all you gotta do is swap out your large size plates for smaller size sets, like my grandma's sets, okay? Because okay, perfect. Exactly, look at these two servings of pasta. If you were to serve this pasta, you'd call it probably be quite satisfied, right? Sure. But the same amount of pasta it looks, like a looks stingy, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's you're gonna load itself. it up and yeah, yeah. you know take in twice as many calories right. and not even notice. Right. That's the that's the amazing thing. That's good. I I'll tell you, my parents used to eat off their little uh, uh, plates like that all they the time. Did. And and they did, and that was enough. Exactly. And they didn't have so many health problems back then and no, weight problems. No, that's right. They didn't. That's right. Okay. Okay. Now eat what you love. I love this. This is the most important tip. Okay. If you remember nothing else. Um, is to eat what you love and never let yourself feel guilty about it. I know it's kind of radical sounding. Well, I'm a dietitian. I'm telling you to eat what you love. Yeah, yeah. And I got cake right here. And it's good cake. It's good cake. But, you know, think about it. When you eat foods just because they're healthy or locale or your diet book says you should, the minute you get your hands on what you really want, you're going to probably devour the whole thing in one go. Right? right? Yeah. Meanwhile, you're be much better off just to have mindful, moderate portions of all the foods that you love. So what if you have that? Here's my fear. Yeah. I have that. I yeah. know that's still in the refrigerator. <laughs> but I have that, and I go, that was really good. Just so eat it slowly, enjoy eat it, slowly. it. Use all these tips. Eat it slowly, sit down, savor it. Yeah. And you will literally, the moment you give yourself permission to enjoy that cake, Yeah. That desire to eat the entire thing is going to go away. How many of us say, okay, and I'm, I'm guilty of this too, I'm not going to eat that. Like, I would, I really want that pasta. That looks so good. But I go, no, 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 you're not having that pasta. And what you're saying is, Don't you can have it. it. So if you go for dinner, yep. like for example, uh, a friend of mine does this, she orders it, she says, can I have the appetizer portion exactly. of it? Exactly. And I'd like to share it with my friends. Exactly. So that's what you're saying. Have that's a little what I'm bit. That's saying. Enjoy it. Right. Really savor it. And when you give yourself, you know, you don't make foods taboo or all right. famous or bad, that desire to kind of, you mm. know, binge on something right. that you shouldn't really be I wonder, will go away. Abby, I wonder when that happened, though. I wish we we got to really turn that around. Absolutely. Let's hear it for Abby, everybody. We'll have a little bit of something that makes you happy today. Well, nobody knows hungry.